Well, I'm back. Where have I been and what have I been up to? Well, I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and you're about to find out. For those of you who follow me, you might be wondering why I haven't posted a video in over five, close to six months, and have been fairly silent on what was Twitter and now X as well. Now, there is a reason for that. Well, first, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who follow me closely. And although I don't consider myself a big heavy hitter in the YouTube arena, but for what I'm able to put into this channel, I feel grateful to have the following I've been able to develop over the years. In fact, during my radio silence, I continued to watch my subscriptions grow and even made it to 50,000 subscribers plus. Now, for those of you who may not know, I'm a local broadcast meteorologist here in Northern California. And after 24 years, I decided not to renew my contract. It was a difficult decision, but it's no secret local TV is not what it used to be. In the age of on-demand everything, people are watching less traditional television. Cable and satellite subscriptions have dropped dramatically in the last decade. Several local news operations across the nation have been shut down for good. Two of them were neighboring markets hitting very close to home. Now, for many of the news operations that are still operating, cutbacks are becoming more and more common, leaving them short-staffed and overworked. Now, rather than live in fear for my job, I felt it was time for a change, but had no idea what it was going to be. That is until I stumbled across a website called norcast.tv, which covers weather for the New Jersey area, but only in digital form. Not too long after talking with the owner of that operation, I came across another website called TNValleyWeather.com. Same concept, but covering the weather south of Nashville. Not only that, but there are a total of four meteorologists on staff for TNValleyWeather.com. Now, after speaking with the owner of that operation, I was sold. And the rest, as they say, is history. It was over a year in the making, but I launched my digital weather channel called Weather NorCal in June of 2023. Thanks to several local businesses in my area that signed on long before I launched, I had the financial backing. And since I launched, I have been slowly but surely signing on new sponsors. In fact, after working seven days a week for over four months, I have finally been able to hire a weekend meteorologist. Now, I still have a long road ahead of me, but feel confident this will grow into something big. In fact, there is another operation in Nebraska called NebraskaWeather.tv that launched around the time I decided to dive into this. And just recently, another in East Tennessee called EastTNWeather.com. On top of that, there are more and more people across the nation expressing interest and before you know it, you just might see one of your local meteorologists doing the same thing. So check it out, weathernorcal.com. There's also a 24-hour streaming channel that's also available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, YouTube, and it was developed by my friend in Tennessee. And eventually, it will be available on Apple TV. I also have an Android and iPhone app. Okay, so what does that mean for Frugal Tesla Guy? For obvious reasons, I had to take a step back while I started a new business. But now that things are quieting down just enough, I can actually get back into the Tesla and YouTube arena. Am I going to be as active as when I first started the channel? Probably not, but it's still something I enjoy doing and want to keep going. And the exciting thing is, sitting next to my original, 2018 Model 3 long range rear wheel drive, I have added a new, to me, Tesla in my garage. In fact, you may have seen it in a few of my other videos in recent years. That's because it's the 2020 Tesla Model Y performance I used to show our first attempt at installing PPF for the front bumper. And we also installed, installed that is, an opening and closing frunk, as well as a tilting screen. My friend gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. 
and took it off his hands. Now, the reason he was letting go of his Model Y performance is because he took advantage of the price drop and purchased a brand new Tesla Model S Plaid. And all I have to say is, wow. Outside of my US Air Force Thunderbird ride of a lifetime, I have never experienced power from a car like that before, which makes my Model Y performance look like child's play. With that said, I will have access to my friend's Plaid and will be able to use it for future videos. I'm excited to be back in the game and look forward to giving you new content in the months and hopefully years to come. <laughs> Until next time, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.